excited to start this new DLC season. I think this first pack is going to be amazing. What we've done is create four small to medium maps that have a very classic Call of Duty play style. I'm really looking forward to the weapon DLC because it's not just a single weapon, it's actually two weapons based on the same receiver and stock. And we've got a great new Extinction experience coming that I think fans are going to really love. With DLC, we really like to have fun. Uh, and that really shows in our first map, Fog. Fog is a dark, gloomy, intense map straight from a horror film. It's broken up into three different areas. We have like a tall grass area. We have even like cabins in the woods. If you really want to dominate, you can hold down the barn, get up in the upper window, and you can actually look out both sides and pick people off. If you complete a field order, you actually get to become Michael Myers. Very iconic horror film persona. You don the mask, you have the axe, the soundscape changes, everyone knows you're coming, and you're just tearing them up. Bayview is a mid-sized map. This kind of like quaint, peaceful boardwalk town. You can see these naval destroyers. If you complete a field order, you can call in an artillery strike that decimates your enemy. Bayview is a great map, and it supports all play styles. You have the high sniper points on each corner that can fire across to each other. You have your run and gun section throwing sentry guns on the trolley. So you'll be sitting there waiting for the enemies, and all of a sudden, if you're just getting wrecked by this sentry gun. Containment's a map down in Mexico that develops these long-range kind of battles. So we have this riverbed, which divides it, and a bridge going over top. And you actually engage across the river with snipers or ARs. But if you're a fast-paced running gunner, you can actually hop down into the riverbed and flank. And there's multiple ins and outs. In containment, there's a radioactive missile. If you complete a field order, you can actually call in a mortar strike that detonates the missile and just destroys anyone in the area. So Ignition is a, a remake of Scrapyard from MW2. We wanted to bring back this fan favorite. It's a Florida-based US launch facility, so it's tied in with the single player. Ignition is kind of like a smallish to mid-sized map. It plays really tight. So if you complete the field order, you get to activate this test engine in the map that ignites and will burn any enemies that are in the area. So in DLC 1, we also have a brand new weapon. It's essentially two guns. It's highly accurate, very dependable rifle. It comes with a sniper kit, and it has a really cool, teched out sniper scope. So depending on your play style, we've got you covered there as well. We're starting this great new campaign with Extinction. Not only is it a whole new map, but it's the beginning of a whole story. The source of the outbreak located. So Extinction DLC, including the map Point of Contact that's on the disc, is a five-part mini-series that tells you why these aliens are here, so you'll have a better understanding of the cryptids and their backstory. Please hurry. Well, in DLC 1, we pick up where it left off after Point of Contact. The Nightfall map's a snow base up in Alaska. It's over-the-top, bombastic action. One of the new weapons you'll find is derived from scorpions that you've encountered in the game. We've got a new alien type called the Phantom, and he's pretty difficult to fight because he likes to jump a lot. As he's jumping, he becomes invisible. We also have a new cryptid called the Breeder, largest boss creature we've ever done. One of the things I think is great about Call of Duty as a franchise is really strong at supporting the community with content post-launch. This year's no different. We've got a great season of content coming. All of this will be coming January 28th. The best way to get the Onslaught Pack and all of the upcoming DLC for one great low price is with the Season Pass.